boom, all in, all in. Sooners land themselves another commitment today. That's two commitments today. Andy Bass this morning, and we call him Little Bowen, Eli Bowen, Peyton Bowen's younger brother out of Ditton Geyer, Texas, just committed to the Sooners like all of a sudden. Like we saw a crystal ball drop not too long ago, and then boom, a graphic fall right behind it. So, you know, we got to talk about it. Uh, so, Let's get to it. But before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thanks for pulling up to the channel. As you can see, we're all in as we've got two commitments that have came in today with Andy Bass earlier today. You can check out that video um, I put together and, and dropped around 11 o'clock. And then now we've got the Eli Bowen, which the Bowen one I was not prepared for. I knew that he was leaning Oklahoma and then uh, Jeff Ketchum. From uh, from Texas, one of the Texas insiders, he went ahead and put in a crystal ball today that this was going down. And so, boom, here we are. And so let's take a look at Eli, look at his measurables and talk about why we should be excited about another Bowen from Den Geyer pulling up to Oklahoma. All right, y'all can see Eli, about five, eight and a half, five, nine, about 170 pounds, corner out of Denton Geyer in Denton Texas and the thing about him is is that we know how freakishly athletic his brother Peyton is Eli's no slouch now he's shorter he's like I say about five nine but he's one of those corners that like to hit and we've talked about this on numerous occasions corners that like contact like to hit if you've been listening to the reports that's been going on here as of recently from fall camps is Josiah Wagner is the guy that's been stepping up and standing out for literally all the corners at here at Oklahoma and Josiah is a freshman 5'11 fast, but he can hit. And that's the one thing that jumped out to a lot of the staff is that that man likes to go tackle people. And Eli Bowen's one of them as well. He can play really good coverage while at the same time, he's going to go out there and he going to hit folks. And that's something that we know that this coaching staff values a lot because there's, there's one thing that we need a lot of is guys that are willing to hit, willing to tackle and make the magic happen. And so Eli's not as, you know, he, he seems like he's small, but he ain't. Um, he's got some strength to him, but he's also got some power. And that hitting ability is going to be one of those. It's going to be a big deal. And he's had some solid campaigns. You know, he's he plays on the corner side there at Denton Geyer where his brother was playing last year. He was basically a starter as a junior, and he helped him get to state. Duke and Ball. I mean, Peyton ended up being four star. He's really a five star across the board, but nobody gave it to him. But he ran a his hundreds. Eli did at uh, 11, 18, 11, 34 and eleven forty five in the spring. So he's got a little bit of speed on him. Like, he's not your traditional track athlete, but he can run. And so that's all that matters is that we've got a runner and a hitter out of him. And there's a lot of positions that probably put him at from free safety into like corner. You can move him around nickel. Eli is going to have a lot of opportunity to play at a lot of different positions. And honestly, Texas was looking at him. They were, he, he did not want to only be considered the guy that his little, that his, the little brother of Peyton Bowen. He wanted to forge his own path and he went and did his own business and decided, psh, Go up to Norman with my brother and go win a championship, right? That's the goal. And so at this point, we're just growing this roster, baby. We're getting competitive depth. One of those things that we will always talk about here on the channel. So that's Eli Bowen who just hit the commitment. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know how you feeling. How you feeling about two commitments in one day uh, coming to Oklahoma on top of in preparation for the next one to come down the line. I mean, Rumor has it, we got another one coming potentially in the next few days. Uh, a lot of teams are starting their first games this weekend, so don't be shocked if another graphic falls tomorrow. If you've made it this far and you like the content, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Join your boy. We'd love to have you join uh, this great community. So YouTube says watch one of these videos. Andy Bass's video is here as well as another one to join it. So check it out. All these commitments. We'll chop it up soon. Peace.